Floridians are months away from deciding whether to legalize recreational marijuana for adults. There are many sides to this issue, and WPTV is working to get you answers about how that would affect life here in Florida. Chief Investigator Jamie Ostroff spoke with people on all sides of the law about how legalized pot could impact our justice system, Jamie. Yes, all sides. I spoke with a defense attorney, a prosecutor, and a sheriff about how things would change if recreational marijuana were to become legal. All three of them had different perspectives, but they do share one concern that they want you to know about. If at least 60% of Florida voters say yes to a proposed amendment in November, after six months, it'll no longer be a crime for an adult over 21 to possess up to three ounces of marijuana. Just this week, I had a client charged with possession of marijuana over 20 grams, which currently is a felony in Florida. Ari Goldberg is a defense attorney specializing in drug and DUI cases. I, I think that recreational marijuana use is long overdue. If the amendment passes, would those charges against them be dropped if they hadn't been adjudicated yet? So if you were in possession of a certain amount of marijuana that was criminal, whether it's a misdemeanor or a felony, prior to the passage of the amendment, then I see nothing preventing legally the state attorney's office from continuing their prosecution. Would it be legal? Would it be possible for them to continue in the prosecution? Sure. Um, but I'm not sure that they would. Palm Beach County's top prosecutor. And I'm taking a neutral stance on this referendum. Isn't so sure either. So it's a little premature to speculating on what would happen in the pending cases. State Attorney Dave Ehrenberg says if the amendment passes, applying the new law retroactively will be one of many decisions lawmakers in Tallahassee will have to make. So Floridians know legally what they can and can't do with marijuana. You know, we want people to be able to do it legally and safely, but you don't want it to be just a free for all where, you know, you're walking down the street everywhere you go and it reeks of marijuana and it they're, there are people doing it in public, so you want to have a proper regulatory environment. How the legislature reacts to legalized marijuana. Well, I would like to see marijuana remain illegal unless it, it's uh, medically prescribed. Is something Martin County Sheriff William yeah. Snyder will pay close attention to. If recreational marijuana becomes legal in the state of Florida, is it going to make law enforcement's job easier, harder? If the question is, does legalizing marijuana make our job easier, I think the answer is unequivocally no. His biggest concern, DUIs. Because what you'll have is more people will drive under the influence of marijuana. You'll have more, uh, more challenges with traffic crashes determining if a person is under the influence. Because unlike blood alcohol content, which is quickly determined by a breathalyzer test, there is no easy roadside test to determine if somebody is using marijuana. And that, all three say, is something all Floridians should be aware of. I hope does not encourage people to get high and then hit the road. I suspect that we'll see an increased number of marijuana prosecutions uh, it, with the passage of, of um, the amendment should it pass, but whether those prosecutions will be successful is another question. We'll do everything we can, if it's legalized, to educate our deputies for patterns of driving, to be alert. So recreational marijuana is still a relatively new policy shift nationwide, but public health researchers are beginning to see some signs that legalizing pot recreationally does negatively impact traffic safety. Still not a ton of data out on that, but I also want to point out how dramatically marijuana possession convictions have already decreased over the past decade in the state of Florida. According to FDLE data, there were just over 13,000 convictions statewide in 2013, and that dropped below 2,300 last year. And remember, marijuana is not legalized recreationally yet. Right, it's, it's, it is legal here in Florida medically. That was around 2017. Did that timing kind of coincide with the shift in the, the drop in the convictions? Surprisingly, it did not. Floridians did pass uh, medical marijuana in 2016. That kicked in in 2017. But you really started to see those numbers dropping in 2019. And that is wow. because the medical marijuana law did not allow for consumption by smoking. Okay. Lawmakers had to go back and change that in 2019. That's when those numbers. It were was the oil, like down. THC oils. Yes. Okay.
and then they amended, uh, you know, the, the laws to say that you could possess up to three ounces at that point. Yes. Of actual oh, very marijuana. Interesting. Very interesting. Mm -hmm. All parties involved, I'm sure, will be looking at the states where this is legal, taking notes, seeing what best practices have been, I imagine. Absolutely. Lots of lessons learned, not just on the criminal end, but on the business end of things as well. And that's something uh, that I'll also be looking into and bringing you. You'll be busy, Jamie. Yes. Thank you, as always.